Okay, in this video, I'm just going to talk a little bit about radians, and we're going to look at working with radians. So, because we've been measuring in degrees for pretty much our whole school career, we've got a pretty good idea of, of what degrees are, right? Like, if I say 90 degrees, everyone knows what a 90 degree angle looks like. You want to say 30 degrees or 45, 60, you, you have a very good, you're familiar with that, so you know kind of what that would look like right away. Um, this, this idea of radians, um, because we haven't worked with it yet, we don't really have a good feel for like what different radian measures are going to look like. So a good one to start with is is the following, and, and this is an activity usually I'll, I'll have people do in class. I say uh, try to draw an angle theta such that a is equal to r. So remember that a is the arc length and r is the radius. So what people will usually do is, well, the r you can make any length you want. So usually I suggest start with, or, you know, pick a pick a measurement. So sometimes people measure. They'll take out a ruler and and draw a radius. So just draw a straight line, and you can measure that. Um, and then my angle is gonna gonna start here. And now what I need to do is draw sort of a circular portion, an arc length, such that the arc length, this curved circular arc is the same length as my radius, which is a little bit tricky because radius is a straight line, so like you can measure that, no problem. Uh, the arc length is curved, so it's going to be a little bit harder to, to measure. Um, sometimes people, usually people are just estimating, you know, I've had people you know, take it a string and they'll try to, um, you know, bend, with a string you can bend the, the string along the arc, uh, but you know, no matter how people do it, they usually come up with an angle that's about this long, or about this big, right? So this is a, about, you know, if you were to measure this, and try to measure along the curve here, it should be it should be the same length, that, that was the idea, that was your goal. Um, so that is uh, theta, where a is equal to r. So what is the radian measure? Well, Usually, sometimes I'll ask, what is the degree measure? So what is the degree measure? So you could use a protractor to, me to measure. Um, now, when we do this in class, not everyone's going to get the same answer because you're kind of estimating this arc length and the radius. Or radius. But usually people will, will come up with uh, an angle of, if you, if you look at this, you can probably estimate it's about 60 degrees. So ab about 60 degrees. Um, the more accurate you are, the, the better uh, uh, degree measure you get. Um, usually when we do this one in class, people it's actually a little bit less than 60 degrees, but uh, usually, you know, at the beginning we just say about 60 degrees is a, is a good measure. But what about the radian measure? What is the radian measure? So remember that radian measure, theta, is equal to A over R. But in this example, we drew it so that A and R were equal. So you could replace, let's say we replace A with R. So that would be R over R, which is 1. So this angle theta, where R and A are equal, which is about 60 degrees, tell you it's actually a little bit less, um, is equal to 1 in radian measure. So we could call that 1 radian if we wanted to put units on it. So we don't use that degree symbol because we're not measuring in degrees. Uh, we don't really have a symbol for radians. We would just say 1 radian. Actually what you're going to see is a, usually when we're measuring in radians we don't actually write any units. So we just write is equal to 1. Um, Sometimes, if we want to specify, we will say one radian and write it the word, or you sometimes see it abbreviated R-A-D. Uh, but that is that is the angle. You know, 
I tried to draw it there, which is one radian. So if you were to double that, let's see you double that. So if R was that, and then try to draw an arc length where the radius or where the arc length is double the radius. So that'd be a much longer, right? Like that was one. And then I gotta kind of continue it. It's a little bit trickier. So if that was the first one, A, you know, but now A is, is double. So, so A goes from there to there. So if A was uh, equal to, so if A equals double the radius, then you have theta equals uh, 2R over R, which simplifies to two radians. So it would kind of be close to that angle there, this angle theta here. That would be about two in radian measure. So that's that, that. This example hopefully just gives you a little bit of a feel of of like what a radian uh, is.